collecting and publishing your students' poems. The first thing you're going to want to do is type into the web address www.storybird.com. When you get to the site, click on Sign Up for Free. Here you want to select Teacher and Class and follow the field prompts. I already have an account, so I'm just going to sign in. Once you've created your account, this screen will pop up, and the first thing you want to do is click Create. Now you've come to the Illustrations page. On here is an endless selection of artwork to choose from. Once you find the artwork that best goes with the poem that you've written, you want to click in the upper right hand corner, use this art for a story. Now you're on the main page where you can edit your story. And what's great is the first time you try to create a story, they're going to give you these bubbles up here that kind of walk you through the process. But the main idea is that your artwork can be moved around from side to side and you can create different stories by moving the artwork in and out from the pages. And then over here you can type in your story. And when you're done with that page, you go to the bottom and click plus to add an additional page. After you've finished adding all the pages to your story, You want to click Save in the bottom left-hand corner, and then at Menu, you want to click Publish. It will walk you through the process of creating a title page. Save, and then you can publish your story. The great thing about Storybird is that it is an incredibly safe site. You choose what age group your story is appropriate for. You choose if it's something that you're going to use for school or not for school, and whether you want your story to be public or private. After you select, you'll click Publish. If you do choose public for your story, it will be read by a Storybird person, and they will decide whether or not it can go on the site because they try to keep the site as kid-friendly as possible. Once you're done with this, you can also pay an extra dollar to create your story into PDF form and print out copies to distribute at your school. Hope you enjoy!